The senior men's team coach says the national team is currently in a rebuild. And during that period, results may not always go your way. We're in a rebuild. I think um, what has happened is that we had so much good results, you know, people didn't under, do understand that we are actually in a rebuild. So when you're in a rebuild, you normally you stumble a little bit more. So I think we give people a little bit more hope than, than we should have. Um, they, it, it looked a little bit easier than it was. So expectations started to rise. And when you see stadiums falling in Trinidad, you know that expectations uh, are rising. Eve adds the public needs to understand that this process takes time before you get consistent results. And they are going to try their best until they find the best team to represent Trinidad and Tobago. I would say yes, we want to continue to, to, to bring in players, continue to develop the young players. And um, every time that we have a window, or, or, or outside of, every time we have a window now, we, we have a, a tournament. So outside of the windows is where we can expose players, expose the locally based players, because although they're playing in the league here, they, they, it's not going to help us now, it's going to help us in, in, in the medium term. But we still need to um, expose them at the international level because it's a different level of football. Eve, who had been advocating for a local league to help the national team, is impressed by what he has seen in the TTPFL. I mean, the league is, is well organized, well run. Um, you know, it, it's 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 advertised, it's it's showing all over the place. And you can see the talent coming out and coming through the league. A lot of young players coming through. Kent Fuentes, TTT Sports.